Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nataka leo ni concentrate same moja. I just want to focus ku 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 ka same moja to stay Faith. in one place. Faith. Imani. Faith. Imani. Imani. Faith. Imani kama inavyo tafsiriwa. As it is it translated is the substance of things hoped for. Ni hakika ya mambo yatarajiwayo. And the evidence of things unseen. Na bayana ya mambo yasionekana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is the substance of things hoped for. Ni hakika wa vitu vitarajiwavyo. The evidence of things unseen. Na usibi bayana ya mambo yasionekana. Again pia also ningependa kusema hii. But I would like also to say faith imani is a kingdom mystery ni siri ya ufalme that gives us power inayotupa nguvu and authority na mamlaka over visible juu ya vitu vinavyoonekana and invisible things na visivyoonekana it is the power of god ni nguvu ya mungu that opens up inayofungua unspeakable riches utajiri usiosemeka in heavenly places katika ulimwengu wa roho faith imani is gives us the power na tupa nguvu to unlock kufungua the secrets of heaven siri za mbinguni bwana yesu asifiwe praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Katika Warumi 10:17 nasema imani in Romans 10:17 Faith comes from hearing. Faith comes by hearing. Imani inakuja kwa kusikia. Na kusikia neno la in hearing by the word of Christ. Neno la Mungu. To hear the word of God. Lakini cha muhimu zaidi. But most important. Acha niongeze hichi. Let me add this. Imani huja faith comes. Sio tu kwa kusikia neno la Mungu. Not to only by hearing the word of God. Hearing the word of God. Sio tu kwa kusikia neno la Mungu. Not just by hearing the word of God. Lakini kwa kusikia but by hearing kutoka kwa Mungu mwenyewe. From God himself. Faith imani sio tu inatoka kwa inakuja kwa kusikia neno la Mungu Don't just come by hearing the word of God Lakini cha muhimu zaidi But what is most important kusikia kutoka kwa Mungu is to hear from God himself Hallelujah Hallelujah Katika Hebrews 11 Katika Waebrania 11 tunaona maneno mengi na steps nyingi za watu waliotumia imani We see several people mentioned who used the faith to do crazy things kufanya mambo ya ajabu kwa sababu waliamini na kusikia neno la Mungu because they believed when they heard the word of god wacha nikupe mfano let me give you an example ibrahim alisikia neno la nani ibrahim heard god hakujua imani did not know it was faith wala hakukuwa na Yesu wa Roho Mtakatifu There was no Jesus or the Holy Spirit. Lakini alifuata neno la Mungu. But he followed the word of God. Mungu alipomwambia ondoka kwenye nyumba babako nenda ninapokuelekeza. When God said to him move from get out of your father's house. Kilichompeleka what took him? Sio Biblia. It was in the Bible. Ilikuwa ni sauti ya Mungu. It was the voice of God. Musa Moses kilichomfanya kutoa na Israeli uh, what made him take the children of Israel kutoka Egypt kutoka Misri mpaka Canaan to Canaan mpaka jangwani through the wilderness ilikuwa kwa kufuata nini sauti ya nani it was just following god's voice kwa sababu imani hawezi kaijua mpaka ukimaliza mchezo so you will not know it was a faith until you complete the mission bwana yesu asifiwe praise god Huwezi kujua imani mpaka mchezo umefanya nini? You will not know Maisha. it was a faith until the mission is complete. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Wakati jengo linaanza, when we started building, haikuwa kama mnasema tu hey, kwa imani tutajenga. It wasn't saying like by faith we build. Lakini sasa mtu akiangalia, but now if we look at what we hey, do, imani. He said you people you have faith. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. So faith 
Uimani. Most importantly, cha muhimu zaidi ni kusikia kutoka kwa Mungu. Is to hear from God. Na wacha nikwambie siri nzuri ya kutoka kwa kusikia kutoka kwa Mungu. Let me tell you a secret of hearing from God. Ukisikia kutoka kwa Mungu mwenyewe. If you hear from God, inaondoa inaondoa. It takes out. It removes. It removes inaondoa. Respect. Kila dalili of doubt ya mashaka. It removes inaondoa every speck chambe chembe zote of doubt ya mashaka kwa sababu biblia inaniambia for the bible tells me there is no turning hakuna kigeugeu with him kwa mungu maana yake akisema it means if he says imekuwa it is done akisema if he speaks imekuwa it is done akiahidi if he promises anafanya. he does it na kama amesema if he has spoken unafuata sauti and you follow the voice It doesn't matter it takes 10 15 20 years. That's why the bishop always said. He was telling us yesterday. If you've started a church, let it be a church. Don't make it like a church. Like a fellowship. Like a fellowship. And he, he says something important. If God spoke to you, you will be successful. Let me give you this word. If God has spoken to you about anything, it will come to pass. So what, what is important in all this? Is to hear Yamungu. to hear the voice of God. Uduma, If you want to start a ministry, hear the voice. Samuel Someone was called in the night. But he heard a voice. Samuel He did not have faith. He followed the voice. Hallelujah. 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 Yesu Jesus alifuata sauti followed the voice and he put it in scripture that i don't do anything if i don't see my si father semi, i don't speak si if i don't hear my father nafanya, if he does i am doing manake they are one it means they are wako pamoja manake yes mungu amesema it means god has said footsteps then he follows what the father said kitu cha muhimu cha kujua what is important to know how mshangazi mungu they are You are not you don't amaze God. Wala matatizo yako hamshukuru hayamfanyi Mungu apate pressure. Your problems don't give God pressure. No one you deal with. Let me repeat that. Matatizo yetu our problems hayampi Mungu pressure. They don't give BP to God. How is your secular? They don't give God Mungu akaaje huko juu akaanza hey jamani hey sasa hebu hebu tuangalie bwana Yesu hebu amgalie mambo amekisielewi He doesn't discuss with Jesus what's happening here what shall we do what's going on here Sielewi ndugu yangu vipi huyu I don't understand what's wrong with this guy Rosa tatifu vipi huko chini ndugu yangu mambo yaendi What's going on It's not happening Bwana anapiga sana kelele huyu Why is this one shouting too much Sisi tunafanya hivyo We do that Mungu afanye hivyo God doesn't do that Mungu anakaa chipebeni God is just watching you. And he looks at his word. Ah. He looks at his word. Neno. The word. Kitabu hichi cha sheria. That this book of the law. Kisitoke. Should not depart. Ndomoni. From your mouth. Manake Mungu anapitia kwenye neno kuongea na wewe. It means God goes through his word to speak to you. Hallelujah. 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 So hearing from God himself it is the most important thing. Ni kitu cha muhimu kuliko vyote. Katika maisha. In your life. And your faith. Na imani yako unlocks inafungua mysteries may siri and hidden treasures. Na self hidden treasures. Na mali zilizofichwa za thamani kwa ajili yako. Kwa ajili yako for you. Biblia nasema hivi For the Bible says by faith kwa imani the worlds were made ulimwengu uliumbwa 
by faith kwa imani the world ulimwengo we mean uliumbwa wacha nikufungue macho let me open your eyes unajua kwamba ukitumia imani yako you know if you use your faith una operate kwenye level ya Mungu unatenda kazi katika hatua au uweza wa Mungu ukitumia imani if you operate in faith una operate in the class of god Unatenda kazi katika kiwango kile cha Mungu. Let me say that again. Ukitumia imani. If you operate in faith, unaweza ku move vitu. Una you can move things, unaweza kuhamisha vitu ambavyo Mungu peke yake anaweza ku move. That only God can move. Can anaweza kuhamisha. You have not understood what I mean. Unaweza kufanya vitu you can do things ambavyo ni Mungu peke yake anaweza kufanya. That only God can do unaponya magonjwa you can heal sicknesses ambao ni Mungu peke yake anaweza kufanya only god can do ukiwa una operate in faith ukitenda kazi katika imani lakini but shetani anapenda kutudanganya the devil likes to lie to us kwa sababu Mungu ambaye Yesu alisema amini for jesus said believe faith is believe imani ni kuamini when we fail to believe yes waweza kufanya jesus can't do it that's why he told his disciples how long shall i abide with you you unfaithful uh, generation hallelujah hallelujah faith imani inaweza ku calm storms it can calm the storms inaweza kustuliza dhoruba ambazo mungu peke yake anaweza kutuliza that only god can calm Dumana Yesu akasema That's why Jesus said Kama ukiapply imani yako If you apply your faith without a speck of doubt Bila chembe chembe ya mashaka Unaweza kuwaambia huu mlima uhambe kutoka hapa You can tell this mountain move from this place Ukaenda paka pale And go there Kwa sababu umefanya nini Because you Umeamini have You have believed Praise the name of the Lord Bwana asifiwe Hiyo ndiyo nguvu unayo That is the power in you Sema hii ni nguvu yangu. Just tell yourself this is the power. Sema tena hii ni nguvu yangu. Say this is my power. Hii ni nguvu yangu. This is my power. Hii sasa ubovu ni kwamba. The problem is hatusomi. We don't read. Na hatujui. And we don't know. Zile treasures uh, zile ahadi aha, ahadi pro, na, na uh, promises and uh, treasures tulizopewa that we are given na Mungu by God kwa sababu hatujui zipo because we don't know they exist lakini Mungu ni Mungu wa rehema but God is a merciful God na Mungu wa neema he is a merciful God ambaye anaendelea kutukumbusha kila siku who reminds us daily kwa kupitia wachungaji through the pastors apostles the mitume wanainjilisti uh, evangelists mwalimu teachers kutukumbusha kwamba to remind us that mkija karibu na mimi if you are coming closer to me unapata kila kitu you receive everything praise jesus faith gives you access imani inakupa kufikia to the things of heaven vitu vya kimbingu faith gives you power imani inakupa nguvu to unlock or do things kuweza kufanya vitu that are impossible for men ambavyo viwezekani kibinadamu but only god can do lakini ni mungu tu awezaye kuvifanya matthew 17:20 matayo 17 mstari wa 20 inasema hivi says this if you have faith as a mustard seed kama una imani kama chembe ya haradali you can do the impossible Unaweza kufanya mambo yasiyowezekana. Nothing will be impossible for you. Na hakuna kisichowezekana kwako. Faith gives us power. Imani inatupa nguvu. To heal diseases. Kuponya magonjwa. Faith draws power from God. Imani inavuta nguvu kutoka kwa Mungu. Inanyonya. Draws power from God. Ah, faith. Imani draws power from God. Inanyonya nguvu kutoka kwa Mungu. Utake Mungu atake asitake. Whether God likes it or not. When you apply your faith. Ukitumia imani yako, you can draw the power. Unaweza kunyonya ile nguvu. Hallelujah. 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 Naangalia kwa macho ya mashaka. You look at me like you're doubting me. Kama vile siaminiki. Like you don't believe me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
You look at me like you are doubting what I'm saying. How is this possible? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to tell if you apply your faith you will draw the power of God whether he likes it or not. Open the book of Mark chapter 5 Mark 5 from verses 25 Utakutana na mwanamke you find a woman who had an issue of blood for 12 years and she told herself she told herself if I only will touch the hem of his garment if I only touch I will be healed she told herself I did not announce Hakuna it. Mkutano. Did not have a meeting. Hakuna na kikao. Did not have a meeting. Na mti yote there, na wa, there wasn't anybody watching Masababu, her. Naye. Because no one wanted to be closer Sheria to her. Ule, the law in that time. Kwa kama hicho, if the woman is in the menstruation. They are separated. Mtu anayemgusa, no one will come close to them. Zake, not even their clothes. He is not allowed to go close to House. So she told herself, if I can only touch the helm of his garment, I will be made whole. So she took a step in the midst of a crowd. And she went very carefully. She pressed on and touched the garment of Jesus. The second amegusa ile nguo. Na sekunde ile alipogusa. Dami kasimama. Her issue dried up. Biblia ina rekodi. The Bible records. Kwamba dami yake immediately shut. Pale pale msiba wake ukakoma. Immediately. Pale pale and after that Jesus is surprised he said oh power came out of me you haven't touched God's power if you touch God's garment by your faith until God is moved that these powers come out of me it means that woman her faith sucked the power of God from Jesus without Jesus knowing you have not understood me if you have enough faith without doubt without doubt and the power to get to God you will be made whole there is doors that will open you have made your way to Jesus and for your faith you sucked God's power hallelujah hallelujah Tell your neighbor When last did you suck God's power, draw God's power And God is faithful He is not Tumaini Some people say he is not Othman He never changes If he says he does it He says it Praise Jesus Hallelujah, Hallelujah. 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 Praise Jesus. Let me show you something good. Hebrews 11:32. Why Brania kumina moja thelathini nambili. Verse 32. Say what thelathini nambili. In a summary, says this. What more shall I say? I do not have time to tell about the Gideon. Barak. Na Baraka, Samson, na Samson, Jephthah, na Yephthah, David, na Daudi, Samuel, na Samuel, and the prophets na Manabi, who through faith ambao kwa imani, nataka usikilize hapa vizuri. Listen, through faith kwa kupitia imani kwa imani conquered kingdoms. Walishinda milki za wafalme. 
conquered kingdoms. Today you are scared of witches. Is only falme too, kama nyingine, like others. But the kingdom of God is greater. So if you use the power of God and the power of your faith, you will bring down and you will take up this, the power of witchcraft, the power of sickness, the power of failure in Jesus' name. Conquered kingdoms. Administered justice and gained what was promised. Walipata ahadi. Koyo ahadi ya kwa kukutoko kwa mungu. So your promise from God. Utaipata uki apply imani yako. You will only get it by faith. That is what unlocks. Na ndicho kinacho fungua. It is the key. Ndiyo ufungua. That unlocks. Una ufungua. The heavenly potential. Baraka za kimbingu. Kwako. For you. Mungu kana itaji imani. God is asking for faith. Let me tell you why. Maombi Yanampa mungu access to your life All the time Gives God Yanampa mungu kuruhusa ya kufikia maisha yako Kuhusika na wewe At that moment in time All the time To have access to deal with you all the time Atakupa maono Atakuambia nini cha kufanya Will he tell you what to do That's what maombi yanafanya hini That's what prayer does Neno la mungu The word of God Linakupa mwanga Gives you light. Come on, Daudi and Avosema. Like David says, Let your word be the light on my feet and the lamp on your my way. Neno lako ni tayi ya migu yangu na mwanga wa nchia zangu. Will give you wisdom. Nini cha kusema wakati gani? What to say and when to say. Na pukome, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Domana Yesu alisema aliwambia wanafuzu wake. That's what Jesus said to his disciples. Si hofu mkito kwenye mabaraza. Do not fear when they call you into councils. At that moment in time. For in that time kwa wakati huo. Roo mtakatifu. The Holy Spirit will give you what to say. But faith is what moves things from the supernatural into the natural world. Faith is what pulls the things from heaven on earth. Kwa sababu nasema ni naamini Mungu ameniahidi kuhusu hela. So you say I believe God promised me about money. Ile imani yako ya ndani. They have your faith from within. Na kazi unayofanya. And the work that you do is what will provoke. Ndio kitakachochokoza. The heavens bingo to open kufunguka and release blessings. Na kuachilia baraka over your life. Juu yako. Sio maombi. Maombi utaomba. You will pray. Mungu atasikia. God will hear you. Atakwambia nini cha kufanya. He will tell you what to do. Lakini imani yako but your faith itakupa mlango. Will give you a door. Itafungua mlango. Will open the door. Pray without ceasing. Omba bila kukoma. Kwa sababu it keeps me in your house. Kwa sababu it, it gives you the key to your house. Paulo alisema, Paul said, Nimewekea mwiba. I have a thorn. Na nimeomba kwa Mungu. I've prayed to God. Mara tatu. Three times. Mungu akanimwambia. What did God say? Alimwambia yeye. What did he say? Neema yangu inatosha. You are my grace is sufficient. Alitoa. Did he take the thorn away? No. No, he didn't. The thorn continued to stay. Mwiba uliendelea kukaa. Kwa sababu Mungu ukimuomba, anakuambia ni nini kinatokea. He tells you what he is about to do. But when you apply your faith, but when you apply your imani yako, inavuta vitu. Draws things. Unavitaji. What you need. The woman touched the hem of the garment of Jesus. And you received healing. It means if she didn't have enough faith. She would continue to pray. Would continue in the same place. But faith. That pushes someone. To open the heavenly doors. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Just before I finish. There's something about it. The audacity of faith. Faith. 
Faith allows you to do extraordinary things. Imani inakufanya kukuwezesha kufanya vitu vya vya ajabu vya tofauti. That cannot be done naturally. Ambavyo haviwezi kufanyika katika namna ya kibinadamu ya kawaida. Ndio maana Yesu akasema with men. Jesus said with men kwa wanadamu. Katika Mathayo. In Matthew 19:26. 19:26. With men. Kwa wanadamu. This is impossible. Haiwezekani. Lakini kwa Mungu. But with God. All things are possible. Mambo yote yanawezekana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ujasiri wako kuwa na imani. You are Ujasiri ukiwa na imani. When you have faith, this is what you can do. Hiki ndio unachoweza kufanya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Joshua. Joshua alipoenda kwa kimbiza maadui when he went to uh, fight the, his enemies mungu alimwambia god said to him first thing jambo la kwanza mungu alimwambia god told him nenda go kafuate or pursue them hallelujah hallelujah katika joshua 10 12 up to 14 yeshua 10 12 mpaka 14 mungu alimwambia nenda kafuate god told him pursue them joshua akafuate yeshua went after them akaenda kwenye mabonde and he went to the valleys wakapigana vita and they fought baada ya kupigana vita and after that Joshua akasimama akasema Joshua stood and said you are simame may the sun stop kwa sababu alikuwa na ujasiri for had the audacity ndani mwake he was very bold imani inakupa ujasiri faith gives you boldness na biblia ina record inasema hivi and the bible records and says mungu god for the first time kwa mara ya kwanza alisikia heard amuru ya binadamu the command of a man the first time ilikuwa mara ya kwanza and the last na ya mwisho ujasiri wako your boldness ile ujasiri kama aliyokuwa nao Musa like Moses had ya kudemand kumwambia Mungu ya kumwambia Mungu nataka nione sura yako i want to see your face i want to see your glory nataka kuona utukufu wako na Mungu akakubali and god accepted na kumwambia nitakupa uso wako he said i will cover you first imani yako your faith ujasiri ambao unakuwa nao your boldness the audacity ni ujasiri kama waliokuwa nao Elia it's like J- Elijah ya kuvuta moto to call fire kutoka mbinguni from heaven for your good kwa ajili yako wewe unayo hii imani you have the same faith acha shetani asikudanganye don't let the devil lie to you believe the word of god tembea katika lile neno walk in that word shika lile neno hold into the word mungu hana budi lakini atafungua milango god will always open a door bwana yesu asifiwe praise god mungu atakufungulia nini he will milango. always open doors for you kwa sababu ameahidi because he has promised atafanya he will do it bwana yesu asifiwe sana praise jesus bwana yesu asifiwe praise jesus kwa sababu yeye amfanya nini because ameahidi he has promised atafanya he will do it no eye has seen hakuna mambo ambayo jicho limeona wala masikio yamesikia what god has in store for you yale mungu alionayo kwa ajili yako mambo nao pitia the things you go through kesho kesho yako ni njema zaidi your tomorrow is better than today mambo nao kutana nayo whatever you meet kesho yako ni njema zaidi your tomorrow is better usiangalie mambo na kukuta sasa hivi don't look at what is happening now mungu anakupa a glimpse of what is going to happen god is giving you kuona tu kionjo cha kile anakwenda kufanya lakini ukifika but when you get there utaona mkono wake you will see his hand unakuongoza will lead you bwana yesu asifiwe praise sana. jesus bwana yesu asifiwe praise the lord bwana yesu asifiwe praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mimi nataka leo upate changamoto. I want to stir you Uwe today. Na stir you up. Nataka nikuamshe leo. Ili uamshe imani yako. To stir up your faith. Kwa sababu kuna mambo mengine. For there are things. Imani only faith. Itafungua milango. Will and open the doors. Ili wache kulalamika. That you may stop complaining. Na kulia. And crying. Wakati Mungu anafuata sheria. While God follows principles. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise Jesus. Nataka wewe upokee. I want you to receive. Nataka wewe upokee. I want you to receive. Nataka wewe upokee. I want you to receive. Yale ambayo Mungu amesema. What God has spoken. Atakupa. 
to give you. Mungu akupe mume. May God give you a husband. Give you a wife. Mungu akupe watoto. Give you children. Akupe wajukuu. Give you grandchildren. Akupe biashara. To give you business. Isimama pamoja naye. When you stand with him. Milango. Will open doors. Ambayo hakuna binadamu anaweza kufunga. That no man can shut. Mungu akakusimamisha. May God stand with you. Akakuweke juu ni kilele. May lift you up. Wewe ukae taa. That you may be a light. Ambayo hakuna mtu anaweza kuisimama. No one can shut. Kama Isaia anavyosema. As Isaiah says. Right now. Sasa now Sasa now Sasa Your light has come Mungu nuru yako imekuja Nuru yako imekujia Your light has come Nuru yako imekujia Your light has come Sasa now Nuru yako imekujia Light your has come Amini Believe Hallelujah Hallelujah Just believe. And God of hosts will open doors for you. You'll come and testify of what God has done. Because you have decided to take steps to do what God has instructed you and to believe what God has spoken. You know all. You are the beginning and the end. There is none like you, Lord. Jehovah, I give you praise and thank you. Lord, I thank you. Father, help us. Is that man crying? Help me. Help my unbelief. Father, help when we fail to believe when we fail to trust your word Lord we know today that if we only believe if we have faith we can move as you move we can do things like you do help us Jehovah that God will be able to stand for there's no kingdom that can conquer us. No demons. No sickness. No witchcraft. No doubt. Nothing that which would overcome us. Because we believe. Help us, Jehovah, that we may stand with you and to know you. The beginning and the end. For you are the greatest who is able to do all things. I just want you to look into your heart. Just right there. Just ask the Holy Spirit. Help me. Help me, my God. Help me, Savior. I need doors to open. Help me, my faith. Lord, help me that I may trust you that you are able to do more than what I can imagine. More than what I think. More than what I know. God help me. Baba ni saidi. Lord help me. Mungu ni saidi. Lord help me. Nimeshindwa mwenyewe sasa. I want to do by myself. Mungu ninahitaji uwezo wako. I need your power. Ili Mungu nipush mbele. That may push me forward. Niweze kujua. That I may know. Niweze kujua. That I may know. Niweze kujua. That I may know. Nimechoka kuishi maisha haya. I'm tired of this life. I'm tired of this life. The failure life. I am victorious. More than victorious. But my life does not say so. 
God help me. Santa Cotua, I pray your father. You know, Baba, that you touch their lives. And do the impossible. Do the impossible. Whoever will call you from this altar. Father, you will hear from heaven. And heal their family. And heal their business. You say, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray seek my face then I will hear from heaven and I will hear the land Lord heal their lives for you are the one who 